Are you ready to take a break from the present? Come on a journey with me. Back to 8-Bit. Hello and welcome to Back to Way Bit. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on the Mr. FPGA. I'll be looking at how to uh, map one of your controllers uh, the correct way uh, to get the best use out of your uh, system. This is uh, something that's been asked by a few people, especially those who are quite new to the Mr. Um, it is quite straightforward really, but uh, sometimes it's just nice to see uh, how it's properly done because the menu system can get a little bit confusing uh, when it comes to the uh, mapping system okay so what i'm going to do is as you can see i've got a playstation 2 uh, replica usb controller and it doesn't really matter which controller you use um, and to be honest you can use as many controllers as you want uh, you can map uh, three or four different ones and every time you plug it back in it will remember uh, your controller settings from when you had it set so you could have uh, you know a straightforward uh, Nintendo controller with just a couple of buttons on it and a, a, a d-pad on there and it'd be enough for it to be able to do what you want it to do then if you are playing some more serious games that do require a few more buttons and joysticks you can use something like this and again it will remember all your controller settings so first of all, we'll go down to uh, the main menu, either by pressing escape or the F12 button. Uh, and then you've got your options. And one of the first options you have here is to remap keyboard. But the one we want to do is to define joystick buttons. Um, this will then uh, transpire across all your cores. Um, if you do come across a core that you do need to change the button settings on for any particular reason, you can. Uh, independently change the settings for each core and map the buttons totally different and again that will be stored in the computer's memory okay so let's go to this system now first of all I'm going to map this joystick I need to make sure the analog button is switched on as well okay the first screen is asking you to uh, press the d-pad right so we just literally press the d-pad right now automatically it's recognized a joystick id for this joystick um so it will actually store everything under this profile and that's going back to what i said earlier you can plug a different joystick in later on map that one then come back to this one and it'll remember what you've plugged in and go back to this joystick id so you don't have to map it every time okay um in this menu as well if you do have a a, a button to press that isn't available on your joystick you just press space bar to undefine it it will go to then the next button for you to select but it's now asking us to tilt the joystick right so that is about your analog joystick here so we go right and we go down and now the joystick two and again we go right and we go down and then you've got the mapping underneath and it's quite straightforward and the same map of your d-pad and your buttons so it's quite easy to follow so we go right left down up and we go to the a the b the x and the y and then the left button i'm going to use the l1 and l2 but really for these and then the select button and the start button okay now there's also an option to use your controller for your mouse as well and you can map more than one item to each function really so it doesn't matter how many times you use it so again we can use the mouse button for right and go left down and up and it particularly helps if you have got uh, using your mini mig core left mouse button right mouse button and the middle mouse button will use the l2 button and then the sniper will use the uh, r2 two button and that really just, it gives you an option to slow your mouse speed down okay now we can go to the actual mr menu system and now we can press a button to so we can go directly to the menu system using the controller 
Um, again, if you don't want to do that, you just press the space bar and that will undefine that function and move on to the next thing. Now, with this function, you can press two buttons at the same time. You have a combination of buttons. So, for instance, I could select pressing the select button and the start button at the same time and that will bring up the menu. So, let's do that. So, we press them both at the same time briefly. Okay, and then we've got okay. So when you do go to your menu, you can scroll down up and down the menus, and you can got your select button. So we just press the X button down here. Okay, and maybe this button to go back in the menu. Okay, and now we're just doing a quick test on the tilt again. Again, joystick right, joystick down, and that is it. That's all we need to do. And by right now, I should be able to go down to the menu using the controller and I can and let's go and try have a look at the game 1943 I don't remember how to start that game. Yeah, it seems to be working fine. And if I hold down those two middle buttons, it should bring up the menu system, and it does. Go to reset. Perfect. Okay. Well, that's quite straightforward and easy to do. Hope you enjoyed that and come back again very soon.